How's it going everyone and welcome back to LTA Thread A. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Flashforge AD5X's print quality and to do that I'm going to be printing everything preloaded on the machine as well as a bunch of torture tests to see how well it handles it and how well it prints straight out of the box. If you enjoy the video don't forget to like and subscribe. Without further ado, let's get printing. There is a total of five preloaded files of the Flashforge 85X. A calibration cube, a logo coaster little thing, a koi fish, a tentacle coming out of the water, and of course a benchy, and in this case, a multicolor benchy.
Overall, I have to say that I am very happy with the print quality coming from the AD5X. All the files look great, especially the preloaded files. I'd love to know the layer height that the, uh, the tentacle file was sliced at because it just looks flawless. The multicolor Benchy also looks fantastic, which I was a little surprised about as it was pre-sliced for PLA and I printed it with some silk PLA instead. The Torch Toaster is honestly just a cool looking test model. However, it also has the added benefit of not only testing overhangs, but tolerances too. The AD5X in this case has done a solid job. The gears work well, the toast pops out nice and smoothly, the overhangs look great all the way up to 70 degrees, and the tolerance towers have printed successfully up to 0.2mm with the 0.5mm, 0.4mm and 0.3mm falling out as soon as I opened it up. The 0.2mm came out with a little pull, but the 0.1mm is going nowhere as it has fused to the walls. So not bad at all for this printer straight out of the box. The all-in-one test is a great file to print as you learn a lot about what your printer does well and what it struggles at. In this case, the 85X has done a great job. The overhangs look great and I now know that I can successfully print overhangs of up to 70 degrees without needing supports. Fantastic. The bridging also looks very good and I now know the printer can bridge up to 25mm very well. Now the lattice cube successfully printed, however it did have a lot of stringing. I'm fairly certain that it was due to the green spool of filament that I was using and not the printer itself as I've had that spool for over a year and it has not been stored nicely in a bag with Deskin. That's all for this video guys, I hope you found the video helpful, if you did don't forget to like subscribe, let me know your thoughts on the print quality from the 85X in the comments down below and if you have any other files that you'd like to see me print on them feel free to uh, drop them down there as well and as always happy printing